In this video, I'm gonna discuss setting up your planter for a Kinsey planter that's a split row planter, such as a 1223 or 1631, or a 1224 or 1632 planter. First, you wanna navigate to the setup page and the planner box, and make sure that it's set correctly for the number of rows and make and spacing. So here I can see Kinsey, I'm gonna do a 32 row, 15 inch, active rows all. Here I wanna set the planter for what the planter actually is, not for the specific crop I'm gonna to plant today. Then I'll go to the GPS setup button here, and I wanna set up the planter. My frame type I need to change to dual front. My hitch style is gonna be drawn, and then I need to measure and set these distances. The B distance is for the front rows from the hitch to the seed exit. And those rows are considered to be the right rows. The C measurement is for the rear rows, which are considered to be left. I also need to set my offset center distance one and distance two. On a 1223 or 1631, these are gonna be zero. If it's a 1224 or 1632, then those are gonna change based on the crop type. And I'm gonna set those on the crops tab. So I'll hit enter on this page. I'll go home, then setup, and crops. Here you can see I have the soybean crop active. My seeds per disc needs to be set correctly so that I control row flow or V drive correctly. So I may have the 80 cell soybean disc or I may have the 56 cell soybean disc for V set. In this case today, we're gonna set for 56. My default population, I wanna set for what I want the population to be if I'm using a prescription and I get out of a prescription zone. So I'm gonna set to 160,000. I need to set my active rows for what rows I'm gonna be using planting soybeans. It will be all. My quick adjust population, I can use on those control pages for V driver row flow on how much I wanna be able to adjust the population quickly. So potentially on soybeans, I may wanna have a slightly larger number there. I also wanna to go to advanced adjustments this is where I'm gonna put in those numbers for D and E that I mentioned earlier. On a 1223 or 1631, these are gonna be zero. If I'm a 1224 or 1632 and I'm setting up beans, it's possible that you may use a hitch offset. If you do, then this D distance will likely be 7.5 and the E distance I need a negative 7.5, so I'm gonna hit flip and type in 7.5, enter, and you see it put a negative 7.5 in there for me. I'll hit enter on this page. Now I wanna set up my corn crop as well, so I'm gonna hit change crop. I'm gonna make corn active. If corn was not available, I would simply add crop there. So I'll hit corn. Again, very important that I make sure the seeds per disc is correct, that 27 is correct for my V-set corn disc. My default population of 32,000, I'm okay with. You may wanna change that for your specific settings. For active rows on my Kinsey, I'm going to only be using my rear rows on a Kinsey that's considered left. I also need to go to that advanced adjustments page again. There I'm gonna set my offset distance D and E. Again, for a Kinsey 1223 or 1631, those numbers would be zero. On the Kinsey 1224 or 1632, planting corn, I'm likely not using a hitch offset. So my D measurement, I'm gonna go flip and 15. That gives me a negative 15 value. And my E measurement will be zero. That concludes this video. If you have questions, please refer to our instructional documents 
at cloud.precisionplanning.com and product resources, or give us a call at Precision Planning Product Support or your local premier dealer. Thank you.